Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. I'm going to start another art book to show you. This one is awesome. I was told this about this book uh, from one of my local comic book stores, Pack Rat Comics. And um, they told me about this a few years ago, and I have several books uh, from this artist and writer, and they are awesome. It's like um, it'd be a great anime movie or something that they would do, or just the artwork in it it's just beautiful but I wanted to do this it's called Black Sad from Dark Horse and um, I wanted to go through the artwork and everything and some of it's mature and everything but uh, I think you'll enjoy this one if you li really like artwork and here's the, here's the front cover as good as it gets by Stan Lee he wrote that that's cool but it's, it's just beautiful for, beautiful artwork um, Diaz Can Canales and uh Juan Diaz Canales and Juano uh, Granito uh, did the uh, artwork and Canales did the writing but that's the front cover there um, here's the side and here's the back cover here so Neil Adams responded in Entertainment Weekly. But here's some of the other for the back cover here. You can see just um, the colors and the, the physical drawing and just the backgrounds and the, everything in it is very nice. The guy is really awesome how he draws. Well, I'll, you can pause that there and read that. Okay, I'm going to move it now. And that all right now let's get started into the book uh, I'm not sure how much I can cover in a half hour like I said I usually do half hour videos but this is just beautiful I thought I'd go through this I'll get to the, my other ones as well I love to meet these guys and get them to sign it I'm black sad He's just really good. It's like an, it's almost like an old Disney movie, like from uh, Robin Hood. The drawing like that and everything. Uh, any of the older Disney, Snow White and stuff like that, and just all those old movies, and everything. But um, the coloring, the shading, the lighting, and, uh, everything. dedicated it to you can see it eighth printing it's been out for a while I like to get first printing sometimes but when I saw this I said I have to get this, this is just beautiful Let you read this. I'll hold it here and then you can pause it. Okay, I'm gonna move down. Hold it there, you can pause that. Alright, I'm gonna move down and hold it there. Okay. I'd like to be, I'd love to be able uh, to see a movie of this or something if they were to do it. You can see it had Roger Rabbit and stuff like that in it, but it would be done really well. You spent the time to make it look like this. Okay, I'm going to move down. Let's see if I get as much of that in there as possible. You can pause that. there all right let's move on but look at this somewhere within the shadows the artwork he's a black panther or just a black cat she looks like Lauren Bacall you know who that is 
just really cool. The coloring and everything. It's like a, a crime noir story. Where it talks about the picture. Okay, here we go. Look at the detail in the coloring. The time it took just to make a setting picture. It's awesome. murdered looks like this beautiful first page Let you read that. It's just cool that they are. Uh, they're all animals and dogs and stuff. Dogs and cats. Just the facial expressions and everything. Just all the detail in the pictures in the background, the time he took to draw all of the stuff. And the clutter on the desk. Hopefully you can read it and pause it. I'll try to hold it there long enough and then you can pause it if you want to read the story or just look at the artwork. This is mostly just for the artwork, not for the story too. I'm sure there may be something on um, YouTube, somebody went through this maybe and broke it down digitally and you can read it. I like those videos too, a lot of times. I love to see an audio version of this or something. But look at his office, look at all the stuff that he drew. Spent the time to draw all of this stuff in there. Awesome art. This the flowers and everything in the picture. The colors. <laughs> the different looks on the faces and everything. Picks, his, picks the right people for the right job. Looks like Batman there. That's cool. Trying to get some answers. The facial expressions, like I said, it reminds me of uh, Robin Hood from Disney years ago. I 
all the movies where they did with the characters were animals and stuff like that. Just the detail that he put it in, it's beautiful. It's just, I, I'm just amazed when I look at these pages. It's like I can't, the time he knows exactly where he's at. To draw these situations and everything like that, you have to have some place where you can get inspiration from or have references to show him in that office and to show the city street like that. To take the time to, uh, when you have all that stuff there, it makes it easier to put the book together, to come up with ideas or do the drawings and stuff you have those references and everything to make it look more realistic a lot of times when you don't when you don't see that in stories and it looks rushed there's no background it's just all action and stuff and people standing with nothing in behind them it's it's not as um, uh it doesn't bring you into the story as much but this it makes you want to just stop and look at everything as you read it because it's just so much detail I mean, it looks like lifelike. Here you can see this with, you know, when you're, you've ever seen a boxing match or anything where they're fighting, it's just, the, there's no need for background on these squares. It's like he does it when it when it's necessary. And you know, if he leaves anything out, you kind of cut him some slack because all the other stuff that they do, all the other stuff that he has, and the pictures is just beautiful. And then you look at this and you like, the lights and everything, just how how he shows the backgrounds and the atmosphere for the whole room he just puts you there. This is awesome. That's cool. It's like each person has their uh, spots, like a gorilla and a warthog fighting. That's cool. And the faces. So this would be an awesome Disney movie if they were to do it. Like I said, it'd be mature, though.
Here's the detail. The hands. This is the settings, look at the floor, the walls and everything, just the um, architecture. Look at this room. I mean, you look at, I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, it's all trashed, but just the time it took to set up a room. You know, your mom or dad's house or the house that you live in. I mean, imagine just a setting for a crime scene or just a, a good time with the family, the kids, the wife. A girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be, whoever it may be, it's just, and you can use that setting for a story and everything. So, I mean, the same setting could be terrifying or joyous. It's just awesome when you look at the, the way this guy draws these and uses these things. I mean, look at the, he knows somebody's coming, he broke into the house there. Now he's trying to sneak around. Just the facial expressions. That's cool. Can you imagine this guy doing a superhero comic book? It'd be beautiful. The cleaning lady. stay back hopefully I'm going slow with this so you can see the artwork but also if you want to pause it you can read it as well like I said it's just about the artwork though it's just beautiful and just the, the facial expressions and everything it's like a great this lends itself greatly for animation but the time it would take to do the artwork it's like I'm not sure how much animation, how long it takes and stuff to do out each page, each picture, each movement, but it's different than, um, uh-oh, different than doing a comic book with, with the static images like this, just stop, pick one scene and draw it, but it lends itself awesome to be a great anime or um, movie, animated movie. All the different characters. <laughs> oh, Walrus, he's funny. Just the facial expressions are funny. So when I first saw that, I just fell in love with this. I, was, I couldn't believe it. And I saw something, like I said, the, the guy told me about it at the store. He said, pick this up. And I picked up one, and then I went back and got them all. I think this is like, I have like three or four books. I'll show them all. But uh, you can probably find them on other YouTube channels and everything. But it's, um, it's just beautiful. 
I keep saying that word, but it's like it's just, just this artwork, the time it takes. Look, and the, you can see it's almost got a different feel when they chose the different colors here. Look at this. Now, this is all in gray tones. Just to set the mood. Okay, well, here we go. An antagonist. Oh, and he's a lizard or snake, so he don't look good. Wow. As the ears move, that's fun. You know, cat's ears move. Like I said, he's doing awesome. I'd like to see him do a, like a Batman story with all the characters in it. It'd be awesome. Look at this, that beautiful lighting, wow. I like the books in the background that well got up there to get those books. Just the floor, and the carpet, and the rug, and a chair, and those, uh, the table, the desk, the fireplace, just everything. Wow. Just beautiful, isn't it? Just the layout, like I said, the coloring and everything to be able to do this like this. I wonder what they're working on now. I'm not sure how long it took them to do this, but uh, what they'll be working on next. Just a detail. And we got a weasel. Look at his face. <laughs> background here it's just all the stuff that's going on not just two people not just three or four but look at this and the cars wow she's watching they know somebody's following him Uh, 
name of the bar. Yeah, these guys are gator. All lizard type characters. Playing pool. Wow. <laughs> Might have stepped into the wrong place, buddy. Nope, oh, he sees that now, look. <laughs> Look at his face. Now he's trapped. Hmm. That's funny. Just awesome. Look at how you see the choice of the characters for each uh, bar, each scene. Everybody sticks to their own kind, looks like. It's just different. I mean, there's some mixture of things, but you said lizards and everything. Uh, you got a pig in there. This is like a, like some, a good mixture here. Different kind of bar here. Made it more like a real to life, stuff like that. Like just different people, different kinds, different shapes and sizes, and everything, and different mixtures and stuff. You got the segregated stuff, and then you got the stuff where everybody gets together. So it's just cool. The shady side, the bright side, everything. It's just awesome how, like I said, how they chose the characters and everything. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> They're fighting to the background. Look at this one, the small square. Look at the detail. Wow.
do a few more squares and then I'm gonna stop after like over 30 minutes here. We'll come back, I'll do another video. But it's just beautiful artwork. Hope you're enjoying this, hope you like it. And you can read it too. I'm trying to go slow enough. But look at the look at the cemetery. The mausoleums and everything. And the fence. So I'm going to end it here, so we'll start back again soon so you can see the rest of it. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you like that. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll continue to do more videos. Like I said, 30 minutes about is how long I want to go with them. Well, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, Collected Dude is out.